Hey guys, so the NFC Ring Control app's open source, right? Which means that you can hack on it and do whatever you want with it. So what I wanted to do is just to kind of show you how we how that would be useful for you. Now you've got a few prerequisites to install. Uh, you're going to be using Linux, and you can do the same pretty much the same commands on Windows. Um, other than the apt get, you'll have to install git manually. So basically, sudo apt get install git. Um, it's going to install git for you. Then you're going to want to do uh, you're going to want to head over to uh, node js .org download click on uh, right click source code and grab that with wget so copy paste that and then you're going to want to do an extract on that so it'll be whatever whatever uh, and then you're going to want to do a configure and build just like you would with any normal uh, run from install that's going to give you a node so you'll be able to type node v and and alongside node it gives you a package manager called npm called node package manager um, we want to install a uh, cordova but we want to install it with a global flag which is minus g and we want to sudo it when we do it so that'll in install the Apache Cordova framework, which will mean that we can run the mobile apps. Uh, if we're going to push out to Android, we'll need to install the uh, ADT bundle as well. Um, probably worth having a search uh, online for the best way to set up your paths for the ADT bundle. Or if you look in, uh, let me bring this up. If you look in here, you can see uh, how to set up your paths. So that's just a useful way of making sure that the path's uh, right. And you'll know that it's working because you'll be able to type ADB. Uh, you'll get all this output. And then it, uh, ADB devices will show you if you've got a device uh, correctly configured. So a device that's correctly configured is an Android device with a debug mode on um, and set to, uh, in my situation, it's high suite, but it may be a, a media transfer or whatever it is on the so when you plug your phone in it'll give you an option of how you want to connect and basically if you see it in adb devices you're, you're in for the win there um so once you've got set up and you can talk to your phone and everything then create a new folder so i'm, I'm working in var www because i'm running apache you guys could probably do the same thing uh you just basically app get install apache 2 um oh sorry sudo app get install apache 2 and that'll install it to var www um i'm going to make a folder called experiment I'm going to jump in there, and I'm going to copy paste this line from the uh, to this git clone line. I'm going to put that in there. Now you might need to change. I oh know you should be actually. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to pop that in there. And basically, the NFC Ring Control app is a Cordova app, so it's written in HTML, JavaScript, CSS. So that means that we can literally now go to here. And go to one two seven zero zero one slash experiment slash NFC ring control slash www and then let's just drop it to the root. There you go. So this is the actual mobile app, but it's running in the browser because it's called over because it's HTML, JS, CSS. So we can look through and you know do all the functionality. It does all of the queries as if it was uh, running on the app. Um, but what we want to do is we want to add some new functionality. So let's jump into these folders, right? Uh, www JS NFC ring. And we've got this actions file. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new action. I'm going to call this uh, snooker. And we're going to have a label of snooker color. We have a description. It's probably a type of uh, what's your favorite color ball. And then we're going to have option text. Of uh, what is um, actually we have that as same as sorry too much but you can change these around afterwards this is a, just a description for us uh, we'd actually probably put something like his favorite color ball then a uh, place holder we'd have something like uh, pink format the so format's a little bit tricky, but what I'll do is I'll talk through the different outputs um, and what you can get from the format. So it's our way of um, just trying to make this part a bit easier, actually. Once you once you make sense, it makes sense. So if uh, if on the input, so let's actually just save this as is, right? And then let's just have a look at this now. Ba -ba -ba. Hit that back up. Snoop color. Type in some stuff. And uh, because we've not set this up fully, we're getting uh, no further action. And, and that's just because this is just an example to show you how you'd get through to this point. Um, really, adding adding further stuff is incredibly simple. I'm sure you won't have a problem at all. Um, and yeah, that's how that's how easy it is. 
actually to um, to add a new action to the NFT ring control. So if you've got your own uh, kind of piece of functionality that you want to do or build a product on the top of the NFT ring control app, then you can just do that by editing the actions. Um, then you can build a new... Um, let me just jump in here and go... Uh, uh, Cordova build Android and you can just build a new APK like this and if you want to build uh, an APK, APK that's ready for release you do a uh, Cordova uh, build Android uh, dash dash release and that would build a, a release ready APK that you could then just upload straight up to the Play Store so it really is as simple as that to, to hack on the NFC ring control app and to build uh, your own applications off the back of it or, or even contribute back to the project so Thought I'd share that with everybody. I think that it's useful um, and uh, have fun hacking. See you soon.